And today we have Leonardo Barilaro. and senior lecturer of aerospace engineering in the Malta University. Welcome again, Leonardo. So I would like, because, you know, when we are thinking about music and space and as well culture and engineering and resource collaboration, you know, some people say it's only possible to do one thing. But I think here we like to be more polymaths. I think, and to do several things because this is increasing the creativity and connecting the dots and you know like it's very special, you know, it's like part of who we are as a human beings. So Leonardo, can you explain what is this relationship between projects, music, research, space? Thank you very much, Harald. Hello everybody. Welcome to the second day of this uh, beautiful uh, Eurospace Sub uh, Giza Forum. So, long story short, uh, I'm a polymath and uh, I follow the utopia of the Renaissance man. I have an important name, Leonardo, this for sure inspired me. Basically, six years old, I discovered music, nine years old, astronomy. Till uh, 12, when I was reading Asimov, uh, listening to Bach, uh, Queen, uh, Robert Miles, Beethoven, Brahms, a mix uh, of a lot of things. And at 12 years old, I decided I would have become an aerospace engineer to go to space and play the piano from there. Now, I am along with this journey, and uh, last month, uh, 11th of April, my second music composition uh, went to space, so I am doing steps to become fully the space pianist. And uh, this music composition that I will perform now, Zero, is a part uh, of a Maltese project, uh, Mallet. So this was a Mallet 3 mission led by Professor Joseph Borg of the University of Malta and in collaboration with Gancast, the uh, institution which I represent. And uh, this is, uh, um, was a biotube to study patients affected by diabetes. And uh, besides the uh, high scientific value of the mission, mission itself, also in this case, <coughs> for the second time, art was uh, on, with it. And uh, <coughs> I mentioned this also yesterday, art is a catalyst that uh, allow to, allows uh, to bring the people together and uh, to overcome barriers of uh, several uh, types. Also, yesterday I had the thought that uh, space is uh, more demanding than uh, a six voices uh, Bach uh, fugues. I love Bach. And uh, fugues of Bach are super complicated, but also super beautiful. And uh, I love space because uh, it brings together, in my opinion, people with a certain vibe. Simply because uh, looking uh, and uh, aiming for something literally higher and uh, huge uh, puts uh, things in life uh, you know, in a different perspective. So for uh, my intermission, I took part as uh, an aerospace engineer and uh, as uh, a pianist. And uh, Zero, the title of the composition, uh, is related uh, to uh, the number that changed the uh, math and also human society and uh, to its uh, meaning of uh, cipher, so a code uh, to break. So basically as humans, uh, we are uh, trying to break the code of the universe uh, to understand it and basically to understand uh, ourselves uh, as uh, human nature. And uh, it represents also creating uh, something uh, out of nothing, so to create a quantity from the absence of a quantity. And this is also what we humans do. Um, for sure, uh, also your space hub, uh, I think a uh, um, few years ago was a seed in the mind of uh, Professor Bernard and look at where we are today. So, our ability of humans to create uh, is uh, what uh, uh, makes us different, uh, at least on this planet, uh, and uh, that uh, is uh, pushing us uh, to basically search if there is someone else uh, and to understand better uh, the cosmos. So, I tried to be very concise, I think uh, <laughs> now you will uh, like uh, this music composition, but it is a hybrid, uh, also in this case, between electronic and uh, acoustic piano. Thank you.